my field's literary studies and I'm interested in the stories that we tell about Antarctica. I'm also interested in the kinds of stories that we tell in Antarctica. I'm interested in what people read when they go to Antarctica. I'm interested in how they think about it before they get there, how what they've read, also what they've seen on television, in the movies, in photographs, uh, determine what they think about that place. I particularly like looking at archival resources and at, at diaries and seeing what people do in their Antarctica, how, what they write in their diaries, what, what they need to get down on the page, how they use their diaries to escape from where they are in a sense. They're living in a very crowded place often and they don't get much privacy so their diaries are a way of getting away from that. What really appeals to me is when I find something unexpected. So. Uh, the expedition is in the early 20th century, or well, some of their reading was what you might expect, the boys' adventure type stories, but some of it was completely surprising. So, uh, for example, Mawson's men had a favourite novel called Lady Betty Across the Waters, which is a very girly novel. It's a romance. And they loved this book, they read it aloud, they talked about it, they even named places in their environment about this book. And I love the fact that these guys are down there in the Antarctic, these hardy explorer types, reading Lady Betty. A lot of research in the humanities doesn't have fixed conclusions and doesn't provide concrete solutions to things, but it makes us look at the assumptions that we make. I think the University of Tasmania is the place to study the Antarctic in, in any field. So we have an amazing institute here called the Institute for Marine and Antarctic Studies. It's largely a scientific institute, but I think increasingly we have people in there in the social sciences and in the humanities, and I'm, I'm very interested in making it a broad disciplinary mix in that institute.